After the club activities had finished, I returned to the dormitory. Come on, cheer up. What? I'm cheerful. Ever since it was decided that I, w I would be the pilot, Katori has been feeling down like this. Just because you can't pilot doesn't mean that you can't fly. The glider is a double-seater. There are two types of glider cockpits, single-seater and double-seater. The single-seater fits one person, but a double-seater fits two. Thanks, Einstein. I really needed that to be explained to me. Once I'm able to fly, you're the first person I'm taking with me. It's annoying how- Nothing. It's annoying how it feels like you're looking down on me. But I'll settle for that. Good. Alright, let's prepare for dinner. Hello, we're back. We push the wheelchair as we go into the entranceway. Welcome back, Ali Katori-chan. Hello. Kaneko, uh, Kaneko, thank you so much for yesterday. No, oh, no, I'm glad I went well. I wanted to soar to the heavens too, though. More than like Katori, she's here. Hmm? Oh god, is that a sister? That's her sister. Whoosh. Ah! As we entered the dining hall with the force of the Saint Bernard from the other day, an unknown girl came flying out to hug Katori. Since Sis called it. I'm sorry! I'm sorry that I couldn't get and come back to see you! Katori's older sister burst into tears as she held her and rubbed her cheeks against hers. Oh, hold on, uh, that, that hurts! Hibari, let me go! Okay! Realizing that she was suffocating her younger sister, she let go of Katori. Who is she? Wait! Okay, she's got arms, I think. <laughs> she's my big sister! She's my big sister. She's my big sister! Katori introduced us in a way that implied, I don't like doing introductions. This, this, this mean looking boy is, well, he doesn't really look that mean, but he's violent. Oh god, I suck at voices. It's the heat. It's the heat. I'm blaming it on the heat. This, this mean boy is, well, he doesn't like, really look that mean, but he's violent and gives me karate chops. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up with the introduction. He's a new doll mother. Nice to meet you. I'm Aoi Minase, the current door mother. I bowed my head to Katori's sister, stood up quickly, and straightened out her messed up clothes. I apologize for the late introduction! I am Hibari Hibari! I am Katori's older sister! She seems very proud to say that she is Katori's older sister. <laughs> I heard that there was a new door mother, so I thought I should meet her as soon as possible. But I've been away from the pan with my job for a while! For all of you who think that I'm racist by doing these kinds of accents, no, we're in Japan, I'm allowed to do it. There is nothing special, but please share this with everyone! She gave a deep bow and passed me something wrapped in paper from a fa of a famous Japanese sweets... S-shop. <laughs> S-hop. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was surprised at first, but she seems like a perfectly sensible person. She's gentle and seems like a nice... little different for, to her younger sister. <laughs> What did you buy? Sweet paint jelly from Mifune! Also there is some ice cream in the fridge. Alright! As expected of my big sister Havari! I know that kind of sounds like, but they're sisters, you know? It's kind of, you know, it's... Katori rushes straight to the fridge. You can eat that after dinner. It's fine, just one spoonful. No. <sighs> Mean as always. <laughs> Katori! Looks like she's having such a good time! I have no reason to worry! Hmm. Oh, that's right, Katori! While well, Katori had the fridge open and was rummaging around inside, her sister went over to her. I was so happy to see her, I completely forgot! Are you serious about quitting school? Not so loud! The borders are out. The borders are outside the dining hall. Why do you want to quit? Did something bad happen? If not, I'll speak to you later. <coughs> I'm not going to quit anymore. Huh? I still haven't. I still haven't completely made up my mind, though. I'm going to keep trying for a little while longer. I see. Abari breathed a sigh of relief. 
Katori! When you said you wanted the quits go one hour away, I kept worrying and worrying. I'm sorry for worrying you like that. No, it's okay! Oh yeah, she said she was just now that she was walking away from Japan. Kanako said that- oh god, my stomach. Kanako said that uh, her sister hadn't been here for a while. But that was the reason why. But that was the reason why? Where did you go? An overseas business trip! She's flown to German, Spanish, and Swedish. I don't really get it, but that's amazing! Oh, I, I was against, but I was against it, but the company ordered me to do it. She was the only studying for. Ah, uh, she was only studying foreign languages as a hobby. If it meant that I couldn't take a story, I thought that it would might be better to quit the company. No, that would be going too far, sis. No, not really. Actually, I was. I was supposed to have been coming back tomorrow, but I was so worried that I was at my. Alright, that's a little bit depressing, mate. I was so worried I was sad by with and came back at day early. She said, clinging onto Katori. Stop, I'm really happy. Tell me all everything. Tell me all everything. It, it's fine now. It's no big deal. It was like the May blues that people usually get one month after the start of the school year had come to two months late. Tears well up. Abari looking at me with tearful eyes. She was trying to say that if I knew anything, I should spill the beans. Um, I think that everything's okay with Katori. Today, she went to do club activities even though we had a day of school. Club activities? We're in the sewing club, right Katori? Sewing club? What's that? Ah, uh, it's... Have you heard of gliders? Well, it's like an airplane. It used to fly through the sky. The sky? No, that's not it, Habari. I'm not going to fly, or rather, I can't fly. I was just thought today I couldn't do it. As Katori desperately tries to cover it up, she glares at me and gives me a signal. Th that's right, we don't just fly, we book gliders and so on. I don't really know why, but I follow a lead. Really? Yes, yeah, so I don't worry. I mean, yes, yeah, so I don't worry. Habari looked like she accepted it for the time being and didn't pursue the issue any farther. Katori seemed relieved. It was like there was some reason why she shouldn't be doing club activities. Anyway, something smells good. Since just now, a smell that stimulated my hunger had been drifting through the air. I've been making paella! Whatever that is, I taught her. I was taught how to make it while I was away. There's a tough room with some reason to enjoy! Night time descends upon the flying fish manor. Habari's home cooking was superb. Apparently, it's a Spanish dish, style a uh, Spanish style cooked right with. Uh, yeah, oh my God, fuck me. Apparently, it's a Spanish style cooked rice with shrimp and shellfish. It was quite refined, so it went down really well with the bottles. Oops. Also, after the main course was dessert. Which was sweet bean jelly from a famous Japanese sweet shop. It was perfect. Apparently, Hibahari had been visiting Flying Fish Manor since a while back and had been making food for Katori and the other boarders. Since she was coming to help the disabled Katori, she had been special. She was given special permission to come at any time by the owner the caretaker. Thanks to her, the level of satisfaction with tonight's dinner was exceptionally high. Oh, harmful! You seem very familiar with Habari. At the dinner table, Habari was very open with not only her sister, but with all the other boarders. Hmm, yeah, you're right. Since Katori is like that, uh, she takes care of her as a big sister, doesn't she? I guess that... I guess that why... I guess that when she says, like that, she's not talking about her disability, she means her personality. As for Suvene, she always buys some for everyone. She's got such a cute little sister. She can't help but want to take care of her. While we speak, Kabari pushes Katori and her wheelchair out of the dining hall. Thank you for the meal, Hibari. It's okay, I'll clean everything up later, so you can just leave it there for now. Even though she had only just gotten back from an overseas business trip, she's got a lot of energy about her. Despite her pretty impetite appearance. 
No, I can do that. That's right! After having such a delicious meal, you should do some work! She says it like it was all her doing. Tori must also be proud of her sister. Katori, give me a hand later, okay? What? You ate that delicious food too, didn't you? Hmm. <laughs> For some reason, Katori's reaction seems a little cuter than usual. It must be her sister's influence. Okay, before that, we're going to think about together. Yeah. I know that we'll be sleeping together good night tonight. In separate beds. Oh, why? Because it's really uncomfortable when you hug me when when you're hard asleep. I was looking for I was looking forward to that, which is why I came back in such a hurry. Together with her sister acting downhearted, and Katori headed to the bathroom. As I watched him leave like that, I remember that Katori was desperately trying to cover up the fact that she's in the soaring club just now. It must be her family. It must be because her family would worry if she were to do anything dangerous. That seemed very unnatural to me, and it played on my mind a little. The night sky is so beautiful. Extend the little wings which fly in the sky. I'll extend the little wings which fly in the sky. I'll extend the little wings which fly in the sky. We're gonna fly in the sky, motherfucker. You can end up in him again. Just because it's summer, you must go to sleep with your stomach exposed to catch a cold. I tell you, brush your teeth. And send me a text for today! No, three days today! I've got it, I've got it, okay? Oi! Yes? Please take good care of Katori! Sure, I'll leave it to me. I thought I sounded a little arrogant, but I finished as. But I answered as dorm mother, as Katori's friend. See you, Katori! If anything happens, call me straight away! Worried about her sister until the end, Hibori. Hibari. Got in the car and left. Today is Monday, the start of the week. It looks like she's going straight to work. It came, she came here in her own car, and apparently her own workplace and her house are about an hour away. Hibari says stayed for two nights, so I'm worn out. She's a good sister, isn't she? Yes, I realize that. I just want her to know when to leave me by myself. Katori, would Katori be able to leave her sister alone? Well then, shall we go to school now? Therefore, this is the same situation. In the sixth lesson of the day, I felt restless. When this finishes, school is done for the day. In other words, it's time for the club activities. Just today was Sunday, and the club ta and the club and the clubs take a day off. I was told that my pilot training would start today, so I couldn't stop myself from feeling like I was itching to go. This is covered in the end of the term test, so make good notes. The teacher's laid back way of speaking ugh, it actually makes me feel more annoyed. While I stare at the clock on the wall at the par at the back of the classroom, I have time to pass. It rang! The bell rang! Okay, that's it for today. The thing we started today will be in the end of term test, so make sure you will for it later. The teacher repeats the contents of the lesson before the class chairperson gives the order to bow. The stand and bow, I guess. See you, teach! Oh god, am I really that kind of kid? Yeah, don't worry, your hallway. As they go into the hallway, Katori, whose seat is near the doorway, is already outside on standby. You took your time! I can't do much about it, my seat's next to the window. Okay, let's go! Uh, hold on, Gia's not here yet. We look into the classroom where Gia was surrounded by several girls, talking to them about something. That's why this is! It looks like there was something in the lesson just now that they didn't understand and they were asking her about it. They make a big deal about grades at the school. If you fail any subjects, it's possible that you have to repeat the year. It's not like a genius grades or anything special. But for certain specialized subjects, she is usually near the top row of rankings. That's why just before the end of term exams, her friends go to her for help. Hey, Ajia! 
Oh, hey, hang on, I'll be finished. I'll be finished. I'll never be. Achia waves through a gap in the wall of girls surrounding her. Hey, Oi! She said it would just take a little longer. Oh, well then, let's go on ahead! But she asked for us to wait for her. We'll see her over there anyway, so it's fine, isn't it? Whoa, 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 whoa! I got a choice! Ugh. I've had like four four or five hours without a choice, and now this is a little jarring. <laughs> um Go ahead with a Katori or wait for a Gia. Well, I do want to get with the Gia, so let's be a gentleman and wait wait, wait for a Gia. She, she said she'd be finished soon, so I'll wait here. I see. Okay, I'm going on ahead. Katori seemed a little disgruntled as she said that bef and went off before me. So I made her mad, huh? Well, that happens all the time. Sorry to keep you waiting! Huh? Oh, where's Katori? She went on ahead. Oh. Hey, oi! Yeah? Hey, right, Katori! What does she think of me? Uh... I said, ah, uh, without thinking. Does she really hate me after all? I don't think that's it. She replied when you greet her. She replied when you greet her. In Katori's case, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't do that if she hated her. But she, but she gets really well. Ah, she gets on really well with you, right? Really? The one who you ah, the one who you get along with best is Katori. Well, we live in the same dormitory. Rocco lives in the Blind Fish Manor too, but you hardly speak to her at school. Rocco is one of the boarders, and she is the, the same grade as us. She's also a Gia's friend, but I hardly ever speak to her at school. See. Yeah, maybe you have a point. Uh, but what is this all of a sudden? Nothing, really. I just want to say it. Are you angry about it? I might be. Is this jealousy or something? What? Well, you and I are childhood friends, and we have been close ever since we were kids. I think of you as one of my best friends. If we're talking about when we were kids, Ajia was my very best friend. Even if there was a blank, yeah. Even if there was a blank of five years, that shouldn't have changed. But to the Gia's eyes, recently Katori has been my closest friend. Sure, we do spend a lot of time together. That must be why she's feeling jealous. You're so full of it. Is what I want to say, but maybe it's also because it feels like Katori's taking you away from me. No, she says miserably. That's not really how I see it. I still think of you as my very best friend. I hope you when you're in a fix, the same way you do for me. I want you to trust me a little more. Ajia looks at me like, how come we started talking about this? <laughs> what are you talking? What are you talking about? Jeez, you're full of enthusiasm as always. Yep, that's cheered me up. I mean, oops, sorry. Oh, you're full of enthusiasm as always. Yep, that's cheered me up. Oh yeah, I'm glad. But when you say I'm jealous, you might be alright. I'm jealous of you. Me? I'm planning to win Katori over Fel. She's getting on really well with you. I mean, I like charm. Yeah, sometimes. Oh, uh, you are that kind of charm that attracts people. Just kidding! What the hell? How can I get on better with Katori? Ajay puts her hands on top of her head and looks at a sigh. How are we going to do the flight training? Once all of us second graders had gathered, I asked Amane. Amane has been playing around with a bundle of tanker PC cables, and we can only see her from the other side of the desk. By flying! By, fl by flying! Flying? I imagine it would be something like doing weight training to build physical strength. But I still can't fly, can I? There's no way we can fly using those broken wings. You could move those boxes that are over there by the wall. Could you move those boxes that are over there by the wall? As requested, I tell you where the box is piled up against the wall of the garage. Oh wait, I know what's gonna happen, but I won't spoil it. I think I know. I could be wrong. Well, there are positive things, but I don't even know what they are. Since before Armani and the others started coming here, this garage has had many mysterious boxes and antique parts left aside inside. 
What's this? Why why are a sword and spear in a place like this? There are some nunchucks over here! There's a broken toy gun too. Of course the sword and the spear are well made replicas. As for the other things, if I had bought them, I would think, why the hell did I buy this? I would definitely regret buying them, and there would have and there are many things that I would like souvenirs that were brought on school tr leaving trips. They look like leaving trips. I could easily tell that the members of long ago made this garage their own. Finished! Okay, turn, turn off the lights. Oh, baby. Touch myself.